Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be talking about the things that you should be aware of before we move into the series, into the Python automation series. So the first thing is since this is a Python automation series, you should have the basic knowledge of Python. So the concepts and the syntax itself. You shouldn't have to be an expert or an intermediate to continue with this series. Just the concepts and the basic syntax. Say for example, you know what are variables, then the conditionals, loops and all. So just that concepts plus the syntax, then you can of course proceed with this course. Now there are two exceptions though. The first one is that if you are coming from another programming um, background, say for example, you know Java, but you don't know Python, then what I would recommend is just go through the article or the crash course, the links I have provided in the description section, just go through that and just grab that uh, Python syntax because you already know the concepts like the loops, uh, the conditionals and all. You you have to be just aware of the Python syntax. So just go through the links that I have provided in the description section so that you can, you know, very much be comfortable with Python. So that's the first exception. Now, the second exception is that if you're very brand new to programming, then the crash course would not be enough because you don't know the concepts like the loops, the conditionals and all. You are very brand new. So what I would recommend in that case is that you should take some full course uh, on Python. Say for example, um, uh, I have uh, a full course uh, on Python for beginners in my channel, but it's not complete. It, it's an ongoing series. So I believe I have uploaded some 11 or 12 videos. So you can just uh, go through that. Uh, I'll put the link in the description section, or you can go through some other uh, cool or full uh, complete courses in YouTube. So I'll put those links as well in the description section so that you can go through that course, build up those concepts, those syntax and all. Then you can of course proceed with this Python automation series. Now the important thing is that it's all up to you. Um, you can of course um, uh, go through that links and you can just grab that basics or if you have that confidence that I can um, learn Python or I can just mess up with Python along with this course. So while doing that automation stuff, I can um, get around with Python, then it's up to you. You can of course proceed to the course, to the series. Uh, it's up to your confidence and that level of um, inspiration. So if you have got that uh, grasping capability, then if you can of course um, go with this course and you can learn Python along with that and um, that would M uh, take more time than the uh, usual one but still you can learn both uh, in, in one go but uh, what I would recommend is um, if you come into these two exceptions uh, the, the the sort of thing is that you can just go through the links I have provided in the description section so that you, you'll get a solid grasp before we actually move into the series so whatever be that's uh, all about this video now uh, in the next video we will be um, uh, talking about the installation part so i have um, prepared two videos two separate videos one for mac uh, or linux users and the other one for the windows users so i have put the link in the pinned comment below so that you can just go through that if you're mac or windows you can just click on those links and you can just start to install those dependencies as well so with that being said um, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to, to, to subscribe the channel and click the bell icon near to it. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the very next one.